Hey everybody, so in my last video I talked a bit about using AI software in order to create some motion capture without necessarily needing to use a suit and bringing that into Unreal Engine how easy that is and how much money you can actually save by doing that. In the comments a lot of people had some questions how I saw the usage of Radical, the software I used, versus Deep Motion, which is a competing software. So I thought I'd put a video together kind of talking about the pros and cons I've found with the two softwares. If you're not really sure what I'm talking about, check out the link above for the last video that I talk about this whole system, how it works, and the results that I found with it. But besides that, let's get going. So I'm going to break down my decision making process and my recommendations based off cost, ease of use, the results, and then which one I think will be superior for like the long run, like in the future. So both of these programs operate in a bit different ways when it comes to cost breakdown. So starting off with Radical. There's a couple different options, the cheapest one being at $8 a month. With that, you get about three minutes of animation per month, and then that renews the next month over. But the unused minutes each month doesn't carry over, so you pretty much have a locked three minutes of animation exports every single month. There is another option that is technically like a free version, which is their studio version, but that costs money for export times instead, so it's really kind of harder to break down how much money each export costs and how many minutes you kind of end up getting per month. So I'm going to be judging kind of more based off of the version that I used. So they do have a one week free trial, but it's kind of just to explore. You don't get to really do much with the software itself. And a problem I found with it is that it doesn't do month by month pricing as in you have to pay annually. So if you want to get started with it, it is $96 for the entire year. But I think that it ends up being kind of worth it when you bring it into comparison with, say, like a standard motion capture suit. On the flip side, we have Deep Motion, which operates in a very similar way, except you actually get to pay month by month if you want to try it out. They do have a freemium version, which is free, and you get 60 seconds of animation time per month. The video that I was using, I didn't, it was more than 60 seconds, so I can't really vouch for how their 60 second option operates, but besides that, they do have a monthly plan which ends up giving you exactly three minutes, very much similar to Radical, except it costs $9 a month as opposed to eight, but you do get to pay monthly, so it's kind of better if you want to test it out that way. The discrepancy in price can be somewhat justified when it comes to deep motion because there is a character generator. You can bring in an image of a person and it will create kind of a character that you can then map animations onto, then export that character and the animation attached to it. So not only is it in a 3D AI software, but it's also a character creator in a sense. It kind of makes like Fortnite-esque quality characters. So when it comes to kind of price breakdown, I definitely give the point here to deep motion, though it's more expensive, you kind of get more for it. And because you don't have to pay monthly, you can kind of save money in the long run if you're not using it every single month. The next topic is ease of use. And when I say ease of use, I mean specifically how easy is it to get your results and bring them into Unreal. When it came to Radical, it was very simple. You just plug in the video, download it, bring it into Unreal. They provide you with a skeleton that you can map all the animations to and then retarget that animation to an Unreal character, like the stock characters that they have. So it's, it seems to be pretty easy to remap to those types of skeletons for any characters that you create or have in engine already. And then when it came to deep motion, it has its own skeleton when you bring the animation in and the actual retargeting of that animation to an Unreal character wasn't very straightforward at all. And that being said, there is a lot more resources for using Radical out there than there is for Deep Motion. So if you're trying to learn, you need to problem solve, there's a ton of information you can find with Radical, but not as much with Deep Motion. Because of all the differences here, I give the point to Radical in the easy use category. And the reason why I give it to Radical is because there's a ton of information out there that will kind of help you learn how to use it to the best of your ability. As opposed to Deep Motion, which there's not a lot of stuff out there, specifically videos, I couldn't really find many. The next category was results, and there's two different parts to the results. There's the immediate animation that's generated by the software, as well as how it looks when that animation is brought into Unreal. So with Radical, if you've seen my previous video, I talk a lot about the pros and cons of how it works, and it doesn't track fast movements very well. That was something that we kind of learned throughout the process, but it does hit poses really well and it's consistent the whole time. It's also not very choppy at all. Like the movements are very smooth. So that's okay as long as your character is not doing anything crazy, I guess you could say. But for deep motion, there's a couple different settings before you even go to kind of render a final result there. But from the best options that I could kind of put together 
there I found that it tracks fast movements really really well it catches almost everything there are points where it misses things for example there's one of the jumps that John does that it doesn't even pick up a register at all which is a little bit concerning there was only a few issues like that but there were still issues and furthermore it's it's not as smooth as a radical is it seems really jumpy the whole time and it's it's not like realistic lifelike movements like it's there's like almost like twitching to it but when you bring it into unreal radical is very similar if almost exactly the same as when you have it in the simulation mode on radical site regardless of if you're using radical skeleton or epic skeleton with deep motion when you bring that in as you can see here in comparison to radical it's a lot smoother than it was in the simulation I don't know what's causing that necessarily, but it, it kind of fixes a lot of those issues, but you still have the problem, of course, of like the missed jumps and stuff like that. So in terms of results, the point I think goes to deep motion, but it's once again, it's a preference depending on what your character is gonna actually be doing. If it's more of a talking head with arm movements, then I'd say radical, but if it's like a full-fledged dance, definitely go deep motion, but be careful when they're leaving the ground plane because deep motion had a problem with that, at least within my testing. And my final criteria here is future prospects within the softwares themselves. And by that I mean how I think that they're going to improve over time. Radical's partnership with Unreal will solidify and grow more and more as the months and years progress. So I definitely think the future with Radical is a lot brighter than that of Deep Motion. Deep Motion might be making a partnership in the future, I have no idea. But if they don't, I definitely think Radical will be the best option long term here. So because of that, I definitely give the point here to Radical. So with the final results, it ends up being split two and two, with Deep Motion being better in terms of cost and performance, and Radical being better in terms of ease of use and future prospects. The biggest discrepancy between the two that I think might be a deciding factor is the actual payment plan. So if you can justify spending $96 for a full year subscription of Radical because you're planning on using it a lot, I definitely say use Radical. But if you're just gonna be testing it one time and just wanna see how it works just for a single project, go with Deep Motion for sure. So besides those two, there's another software that I've been made aware of by a member of the virtual production Facebook group named Duncan. I've linked his channel below. He talks about this program called Barracuda, which does the same exact thing as these other softwares, except it's all free and it doesn't take any compiling time, which means that you can use it in real time when you're working in Unreal. It does require a bit of knowledge to kind of get it set up. So I've linked down below a tutorial that kind of shows you how to get it all set up. It requires Unreal and Unity and a couple other softwares, but once you get through it, it seems pretty easy to actually work with. So definitely check that out if you're interested in it. And thanks again, Duncan, for making me aware of that. Really appreciate it. And if anyone else has any recommendations to any software similar to this, definitely let me know because we're all kind of learning together on this. So the more information, the better across the board. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.